What's up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to execute perfectly a bar chords on an acoustic guitars. And it's for beginners, you're not going to have any more pain if you're looking to play the bar chords without any pain, you're on the right spot. And also, I will show you different exercises to practice on the bar chords and it will be really really helpful for you at least i hope so so for those before we get started for those who doesn't know me i'm jeff uh, i play in two different bands i'm a guitar teacher in this channel i'm doing a lot of tutorials covering um, acoustic uh, electric guitars reviewing some different products and basically everything to help you growing as a guitarist so the first thing first to to get started um, on the bar chords you that's possible that when you're practicing on your bar chords you will get some muted strings and let me show you how to get rid of this so what is a bar chord a bar chord is basically a chord with our first finger pressing on all the strings and all the frets and different part of the neck to get different chords and we can get it major or minor to get for example F major or F minor or uh, B minor or oh, B major and that's how you can do a bar chord so to get started with if you've got any pain I would recommend to um, get started with a nice warm up for like 5-10 minutes to do well to warm your wrist and your fingers so I will show you some some exercises on what I do basically before I start playing and I learned this from Nita Strauss the actual guitarist of Alice Cooper and during her master class she gave us a lot of tips and tricks to warm up perfectly so let's do it together so what you're gonna do first you're just gonna stretch your arm and you're gonna pull imagine that you're pulling your fingers like this as much as you can and you're gonna turn your head and just say hi. So this way, it's gonna help you to, to warm your arm and your fingers and it's gonna avoid the pain and you're gonna be able to do it perfectly. And you do it on the other hand as well, but I don't have a lot of space, so I'm just gonna do it here. And there you go. And then just shake your fingers. There you go. And that's it. And then if you want to go further on the on the warm-up, I've got an ebook down in the description just below. Or you can even find it on the free course that I have as well below. So feel free to register, it's completely free. And yeah, I hope it's gonna help. And now let's say you warm up, you did some exercises, you're pretty much done. Now let's play a few chords to carry on the warm-up. Let's say C, E minor. A minor, why not? There you go. And D. And then now you can start feeling that the pain is not really here. We know that we're warm. We're not gonna have any more pain when we will do the bar chords. So now let's move on to the bar chords and how the structure is. So the way that I use the, the bar chord is pretty simple. I'm using my first finger first. Then I'm adding the third finger and the pinky at the same time on the third fret and third fret of the A and D string and my middle finger on the second fret of the G string and that's how you can get the bar chord, that's the position. But now, if you want to make it perfectly, what I would recommend is, this is the first exercise by the way, Use your, you're not gonna strum anything, you use your first finger, add the two and the, the middle finger take out your hands and repeat the process until you can do it really fast like this so first finger third pinky second get rid of the hand first third pinky second and then you start really slowly you, you just do it really really slowly and then you just speed it up a little bit to make sure that when you will change the chords it's gonna be really smooth like this and make sure that your um, your chord will be ringing, but I will show you in a, another exercise just after. Start with first finger, third finger, pinky, second finger. Repeat the process 5-10 minutes a day after the warm-up. And you will increase 
the process of learning the bar chords really fast and you will get a lot of precision because remember when you learn something on guitar it takes time do it really slow but once you've got it you're not gonna get rid of it you you will have it forever that's the thing sweet so now let's move on to the way to strum the chord so once you've got your uh, your f so let's say I'm here, I've got my whole sequence, let's say C to D to A minor and then F. And sometimes we can hear some muted strings. They are muting, but we don't want them to be muted, we want them to be ringing. So sometimes we can hear. We can hear this. So do the same uh, exercise as previously, but now we're gonna add one more thing. First finger, third pinky, middle finger and then now we're just gonna strum every every strings to make sure that we've got all the notes ringing at the same time and if you have a muted string or a muted notes make sure that for example this one to press way more here with your finger about the thumb I'm using a lot my thumb on the bar chords because it helps to prevent first of all the pain on your fingers and it helps the rest to be more precise and more relaxed. So with my thumb, I'm pressing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of power. And when I'm changing chords, it's just becoming more relaxed because we're not staying for like 10 hours on one bar chord. So it's just like transition chords, I call this. But um, yeah, it helps a lot to, um, to know how to play a bar chord, just being simple. And that's the second trick that I wanted to show you. So hope you guys enjoying so far this video. Make sure to smash the like button for to help the algorithm of YouTube. And if you want to share this video with your friend who's struggling with a bar chord, send this video to, to him or to her. I'm pretty sure it's helping a lot. Cool. So now we are done with those two exercises. Now it's time to connect the bar chords with another chord. It's really, really easy to understand, but it's really, really hard to make in practice. So I will try to be as much simple as possible. Usually when I'm, well, when I was practicing the bar chords, I was taking the most difficult chords to connect with because not complicated in a way to, to do like, I don't know, uh, like a C minor. C minor 7 or C major 9 or something, not this type of chord, but like four chords. For example, I know D major is here and I need to do a big movement here. That's what I mean about difficult chord. So what I used to do is to play, for example, a D minor and from there just draw the position and then make sure that it sounds perfectly. And this way you will be able to do it perfectly without any pain, without any wrong notes. And especially if you're a beginner, you will literally smash it. So, <laughs> and yeah, so that's how you, you can play a bar chord. And to connect it with different chords, I've got a really nice exercise that I can show you right now. And it goes like this. So I use these four chords to um, to practice the well the bar chords in general because it's a really nice chord progression to practice with and it helps you to make the transition between C and F really easy it's well it's really easy to understand but really hard to practice but I'm pretty sure you will do it you will smash it um, so we go from E minor A minor to C and then F and make sure that you do the movements really, really nicely. And remember to also um, visualize the following chord. Like for example, if I'm on E minor, I'm already gonna see the position of A minor. That's what I mean, visualizing. Then when I'm on um, A minor, I will see C major. And from C major, I will see F. I will see all this position drawing on the guitar. That's why, that's where you can find all the, um, the diagram from the chords and stuff. Try to picture this in your mind and execute it on the guitar. And that's pretty much how you can play the bar chords. And if you're a beginner, take the time to make it perfectly. It's really, really important to do it slowly and then do it really fast. 
Um, a nice song that you can practice would be, for example, Let It Be. That's a really nice song, nice song to get started with the bar chord, so I would definitely practice this song. Um, thank you so much guys for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed and now you know how to play a bar chord if you're a beginner without any pain, without any rest pain or whatever and perfectly with a nice warm up and everything so I hope you will subscribe on the channel if you want to to smash the like button and let me know in the comment section if you're having some struggle with any reasons I'm really happy to help you out and I see you for a next video Bye-bye.